What makes Aerosmith's performance of Dream On awesome? Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm going to help you sing and perform more like the top artists around the world. I'm a professional voice teacher, performance coach, and opera stage director. I've helped thousands of singers around the world learn the techniques and methods that got the top singers to where they are. So this is one of the most classic songs of all time, right? Um, we all love singing along with it. It's a great song and it's also really challenging. He's, he's legendary, right? So let's check out what makes this performance awesome. Where are you hearing it resonate? Okay, so lots of cool stuff here at the beginning. He's setting up this situation where there's all kinds of suspense and anticipation. We kind of hear a little bit of what might be coming and then he transitions us into it, right? So cool, gotta love it. Now, you'll notice too, he's really keeping it pretty easy, but we're getting a lot of sound out of it. He's getting a lot of sound out of it because he's focusing on keeping it really resonant and forward. If he didn't do that, it would get too heavy, too fast and not let him get up to these high notes. And you'll notice also when he's screaming, he's not putting a lot of force behind it. It's actually just barely there, uh, right? Not in terms of what you can hear because they can turn up the mic, but an amount of really pressure he's putting behind it. He's opening his mouth really big, but that doesn't mean he's pushing really hard. That's important because when we're going to scream, a lot of decibel levels when we're screaming into a mic it's kind of a waste of energy and effort for the most part. We're going for the quality of the sound, the quality of scream, not necessarily the decibel level. Really important. So as you're going through there, the key is keeping it really open, really resonant, and then trusting the mic to do the rest. Now, one of the things that he's classic for is his mouth, right? He sings, we all know he has this humongous mouth when he goes up there, right? Well, try it. See what happens if you, know, you open your mouth that much. Now, the challenge is, can, if we overextend, A, lock things into place, create tension, and also end up kind of shutting us down in the back. Try it, try to really overextend. You'll notice it actually feels like it closes us down in the back. He's found this way to get it that wide open without it shutting down the back. So start playing with that. See how wide open can I get things without it starting to shut me down in the back. Keeping it so easy. Doing the work here with his mouth, 
not here. Notice he screams, but he only does it for a really short amount of time and then he comes right back to that open, easy, clean, clear place. Really smart, really intelligent. He gives us the color of it, the taste, the emotion of it, and then opens back up into that place that he can keep going and sustain without blowing his voice out. The older you get, the smarter you have to get about how you sing. And he's clearly <laughs> still doing an awesome job after how many years of doing this, right? Pretty amazing. Okay, what's really interesting here is the big climactic, cool, unique moment in, in the show, or at least in this moment, is not him singing. The guitarist comes in, walks up onto the piano, is playing the guitar, right? That's awesome. It shows you a group that is not so much about ego as it is much about putting on a good show. The key to a group that stays around for a long, long time and works together is that they're all committed to the product more than they are their own ego. And I don't know them here, and maybe the band members would laugh at that and be like, hmm, yeah, whatever. But as you're looking here, this moment shows on some level that he's making the guitarist the highlighted feature of this song. And we can also tell that because he kind of lives there at the piano in a similar look. He's kind of got mostly white type of clothes on, kind of blends them in with what's going on at the piano. Guitarist walks up in black, which is in sharp contrast to that white, right? Which in normally in the background would make him kind of disappear. But when it comes to the foreground and you have a white piano around you and he's behind you in white too, bam, it just throws him out into the foreground. The contrast is so exciting visually to be able to see and it matches the music too and it's just really cool. You'll notice that, dream on! He's not doing that, dream on! He's sliding between everything. He's keeping that breath flow super consistent. If you listen to him singing, it almost sounds like each phrase is one long run on word, where instead of a bunch of separate words, it's just one super long word all connected together. Try it. It's really important. It creates this professional sound and really keeps us connected with what's going on in the music, makes it blend with what the guitars are doing. Important on so many levels, lets you keep it easier here. So huge and it's gonna be even more important when we get to these higher notes. So listen for it. <laughs> Okay, now he's got to be the center of attention. So the other guy gets off, he gets up on top of the piano, right? And then because everything around him is black, that whole thing becomes one pillar and makes him the highlighted feature. So cool how they're strategically using that to really draw our attention and show what the main focus is. And again, someone higher takes more attention than someone lower in terms of visual strength. And so 
they're just doing some really cool stuff here. It's relatively simple, right? Just a piano with steps leading up to it. That's white and pretty standard, not all that eccentric, black clothes. His costume's really pretty, not all that crazy either, but it reads awesome because they've been so smart at it. This shows a, a definite level of sophistication in being able to pull off this expressive, this dynamic of a show with so little few elements. Love it. Not pushing it, keeping it smooth. Opening the mouth, letting that do the work. So like what we said at the beginning, we're trying to learn from the top performers. And one of the ways we know they're a top performer and they become legendary is that they can do it night after night, year after year after year, right? Clearly, he's not a young man at this point, but he's still bringing a phenomenal quality and level of product to the stage, both visually and with what he's doing with his voice and musically, and it's stunning, right? And so it's these people who have longevity that we're really wanting to learn from, especially when we're talking about vocal issues. We wanna know the people who are gonna stay around for a long time and be really, really conscious about what they're doing, when they're doing it, how frequently, how little, what moments, what pitches, and the sounds that result in it. And then try to recreate the same thing in our body. Not to imitate, but just to expand our understanding of what our voice is capable of. The voice is so capable of making so many amazing sounds and be able to do it in a healthy, efficient way. It's also easy to make sounds in a way that are really damaging and uncomfortable too. So make the priority be making easy, comfortable sound. Have you found your voice? If not, let me help you. You can book a lesson with me at foundyourvoice.com. I'd love to help you find a singing voice that is comfortable, that makes you feel confident, that's true to who you are and unique to you, and also to help you perform in a way that feels genuine, authentic, and helps you feel like you are expressing what you intend to express. I work with singers of all different genres and styles. I work with businessmen and women, audiobook readers, on just being able to speak easier and more comfortably. Whatever it is that I can do to help you, reach out. I'd love to help you do it. Again, you can find me at foundyourvoice.com. You can also find me on wizio.com. Go out there and have an awesome day. See you next time.